Last Saturday evening, after getting off Cubao MRT Station, I chanced upon this thrift shop named Desabel. I have always wanted to visit thrift shops since I got back in Metro Manila, but my laziness prevailed. Since the shop popped up in front of me, I have no reason to not come in. So let's go! This shop sells stuff other than clothes, shoes, and bags. If you have watched my earlier Ukay Ukay vlogs from my hometown, General Santos City, you will note a big difference in Ukay Ukay stores in Jensan versus Manila. In Jensan, the clothes are on the tables and you will have to literally Ukay to find stuff. Some stores do have clothes in hangers but they are priced much higher, like 100 to 200 pesos each. Here in Metro Manila, the clothes are in hangers regardless of the price, so it's actually a lot easier to do ukay-ukay here. On this side, clothes are for 35 pesos or 3 for 100 pesos. Here, clothes are cheaper for 20 pesos each. And this section has clothes for 10 pesos each, but they come with stains and damage, so would you even bother looking? Well, I didn't. Actually, it's not the clothes that I was interested in, but the other stuff that they're selling. I learned from one of the attendants that some of the non-clothing products sold here are unused Japan surplus items, like this coaster. There are many of these which look unused. For 10 pesos each, I find the coaster very solid, but I did not buy because it has no use for me right now. There are more beautiful and expensive coasters like this one, which costs 35 pesos each. And I found this cute panda ref magnet, priced at 15 pesos, but I did not buy it. Here are some helmets. The blue one costs 350 pesos while the white one costs 850. I don't know why this squishy whatever thing is included among the house stuff in this section. So really, a lot of random stuff. Here are keychains or bag chains or whatever chains. We have here books, notebooks, and toys. They have separate bags for each stuffed toy, so plastic overload. The stuffed toys seem new or at least washed. The toys in this section are discounted, although I can't see how they assign the discount rate. Thomas's friends and other toys look used. I don't think my nephew is still into cars, but if he is, I would rather buy new ones since the price range is 50 to 650 pesos, so quite expensive. Here's the most expensive one that I saw, priced at 650 pesos. This robot costs 450. Do you think it's worth it? 50 and 100, but would you take the risk? This one is for 18. 80% off in this section. I see this beautiful vase. It's priced at 350 pesos less 80%. That would be 70 pesos. This place has this and that. There are some interesting finds that if I saw years ago, like this huge bear, I would have purchased. But I'm already at that stage in my life where if I don't need it, no matter how cute it is, I won't buy it.
Isn't this cute? It does not have the price in pesos though, but the original tag in yen is still available. Here are some more stuff on my way out. 60% off in this section. I think this is a good buy for only 100 pesos since 60% off, but I did not buy it. I bought this brand new iPhone case instead. Guess the price. Here's the box, complete with the care package and all. I checked online just as I was editing this video and found that this case is super expensive. 3,000 pesos in Shopee. I should have purchased all three units in the store. This case is available for iPhone 11 only. And I got it for 100 pesos since 60% off. What a steal, right? I'm thinking of going back next weekend to check out other stuff and other thrift stores too. But for now, goodbye and thanks for watching!